We are breaking new ground today with the first ever release from the Connacht Whiskey Company, their Batch 1 Single Malt. Welcome to Dram Fine Whiskey, my name is Matt and like I said, today we're looking at the first ever release from the Connacht Whiskey Company that was distilled, matured and bottled by them. So let me get this into the glass and I'll tell you all about it. But first, if you're new here, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I put a new whiskey review every Wednesday and a new cocktail recipe every Friday. So if you want to see more like this, you know what you need to do. So this is batch one of the Connacht Whiskey Company's whiskies, but it is not their first ever release. Like many of the new distilleries in Ireland, they've been sourcing their whiskey up to now, but this is the first ever whiskey that came off their stills, was matured in their warehouses and was bottled by them. It's a four-year-old single malt that was aged in Kentucky bourbon barrels and Oloroso sherry casks, so you're gonna get a lot of sweetness and a lot of influence. It's bottled at 47%, so it's gonna have a lot of nice flavor, and that, coupled with the fact that it's four years old, means I'm pretty happy with how this whiskey's gonna taste. Because it's aged at four years and it's at that 47% ABV, I'm pretty excited with how this is gonna turn out. I mean, they could have proved it down to 40%, or they could have released it after three years when it could legally be called whiskey, but instead they kept the proof nice and high and they let it in there for an extra year for four years so I'm really happy that this is going to have a lot of flavor. Now this is a brand new bottle but I have actually managed to taste a small amount of this whiskey before now. I was on an online tasting with the head distiller Jamie Castle and he talked us through the kind of story of this whiskey, the history of this whiskey. It was really great to hear about that and it was online because Jamie Castle is over in Philadelphia. He's originally from Philadelphia and because we're in the middle of a global pandemic, he hasn't been able to actually come back yet, so he doesn't have a bottle of this whiskey. He has a sample of it, yes, but he doesn't have a full-size bottle, so I think it's pretty cool to be able to get a bottle of the whiskey before the head distiller. And the Connacht Whiskey Company isn't all about making whiskey. Yes, it's in their name, but during the middle of the pandemic, they actually put their stills to work making hand sanitizers. So this is a high alcohol hand sanitizer that they put together and they put out onto the market to really just kind of give back to the community. I mean, they've been getting a lot of support. And so they saw an opportunity, they could put their stills to work, they could make hand sanitizer, help out in any way they can. And I thought it was just a really nice gesture from a company to put their stills to use. Okay, so that's enough talking about this whiskey. Let's get into tasting it. Like I said, it's four year old, 47%, so it's gonna have a lot of nice flavor. It's aged in bourbon barrels and sherry casks, so it's gonna have vanilla, nuttiness, kind of dried fruits and spice. So let's get into the nose. Mm. Immediately coming out of there, there's dried fruits, there's vanilla, there's a little bit of spice. There's also some kind of dense, kind of malty, caramel, kind of butterscotch notes is coming out. It's very nice. It kind of it's kind of thick, it's kind of nice and rich, it's really nice and kind of kind of thick nose on this whiskey. Mm, it's almost like a kind of a honey, it's that kind of thickness. It's really nice and rich and dense, that caramel flavor there, it's really coming through. There's nice vanilla and there's maybe a little bit of like kind of an almond nuttiness. It's very mild, like the spices, the dried fruits, that kind of vanilla, the honey, the sweetness, that's coming through much more, I think, than the nuttiness on the nose. But it is kind of, it is there. The more you go back to it, the more you can kind of unpack, the more you can kind of un understand the flavors in the nose. And there's definitely a little bit of nuttiness underneath all that. So let's go into the palate. Mm. There's a nice kind of malty kick right up front. I mean, it is a single malt whiskey, you'd expect that but it's followed by a nice burst of vanilla. There's a good bit of spice coming through. There's a bit of wood spice coupled with those kind of baking spices that you typically see with the sherry cask inclusion. Yeah, and there's, and there's also a good amount of that sweetness, that caramel, that butterscotch. It's coming through, it's nice and rich, like a really nice kind of oily mouthfeel. It's really nice, it's kind of dense, it's almost syrupy. So I'm gonna go back in and see if I can find anything else. Mm. Second go around, I've got a lot more of that spice coming through. It's nice, it is kind of light on the flavors. It's There's a little bit of that kind of light, young whiskey. I mean, it's, it's four years old. It's not gonna be a completely matured whiskey, but there is nice kind of spiciness coming through. It's not sharp spice, it's kind of nice, rich spice is coming through. It's very well balanced, I think. I mean, when I tasted this, I immediately said, I gotta get myself a bottle of this, and I ordered it the same day I tasted it originally. So, I mean, it's a very good whiskey. So let's go in again. We're going to talk about the finish. Oh. 
Mm, okay. On the finish, that nuttiness definitely comes back. Like you got a nice kind of mouth coating, the honey, the kind of spices there. But as soon as you take a breath, you get that nuttiness. It's kind of like almondy, walnuty sweetness. It definitely comes through much more on the finish. It wasn't really there in the palate, like all the other notes kind of more and more dominant. But on the finish, this it definitely makes a return. It's nice, it's kind of lingering. The mouthfeel, again, because it's nice and dense and nice and rich, it does kind of coat your mouth. There's like a nice kind of like a spice just lingering at the back of my mouth there. It's kind of medium long. I mean, the vanilla, the sweetness, those kind of notes, they fade away. You're left with kind of that lingering spice. So there's not a huge evolution, but at the same time, it doesn't just disappear. So that's a good thing. It doesn't just fall away and just like leave it without anything. You got that nice kind of spicy note. You got that bit of nuttiness to give it a little bit of a new direction, but it's not too long. And perhaps when this whiskey is a bit older, when they come out with new releases that incorporate some more kind of more mature whiskey, some more mature stocks into their whiskey, they'll probably have a bit of a longer finish. It might be more rounded out. There was a little bit of sharpness in the palate, a little bit, just because you could tell it was young whiskey, but it's, it's four years old, it's not brand new, but at the same time, it's not like a 12 year old or a 13 year old. So maybe in a couple of years when this whiskey is kind of maybe eight years old and they mix it in with some whiskey that's four years old, those kind of small little niggles, they'll be ironed out and you'll get that nice kind of spiciness, the sweetness and none of those bad notes. And I hope in that case, the finish will be a bit longer too because it might just add a little bit of a more dimension, make it more into whiskey you can just drink over a longer period of time. You can kind of enjoy it, you can get to know it and you can really unpack it. From what I understand, these bottles are like hotcakes right now. They are just selling out everywhere they come and it's no surprise. I mean, as I said, like there might be a couple of small niggles, but this is a nice, nice whiskey. It's also kind of historic because we've had a lot of new distilleries open up in recent years in Ireland, but very few of them have actually put out their own spirit. This is the one of the first that have actually opened and matured their own stock and are now releasing their own stock rather than relying on that source spirit, rather than relying on maybe mixing some of their, their young spirit with their kind of older stocks. And because this is all their whiskey and it's all four years old, it makes me really hopeful for the future of the Connacht Whiskey Company because this hasn't been blended with something that's maybe eight years old or 10 years old or 12 years old to give it those extra rounded notes. This is all theirs. This is all what they're doing. I mean, if this is what it is at four years, I'm really excited to see what it is at eight years, at 12 years, at 15 and 16 years. So if you see this whiskey on the shelf, I'd probably recommend it to you. I mean, it's a nice single malt, it's sweet, it's spicy. It's at 47%, so it's got a nice rich flavor to it. It's also not too expensive compared to some other whiskeys that have been released at the moment. And it is a batch one whiskey, so it does have that kind of historical cachet to it that this is the first whiskey that they matured, that they put out onto the market, and you'll be able to see how it compares against future batches. So I think I'm gonna keep on enjoying this class, and I will see you next time. Slaunching.